Welcome back. I'm still sitting here in this spot. Uh, second topic. I guess we should talk a little bit about the state in a way and freedom and um, fear basically. Like a lot of the topic of these videos will be based on some discussions and, and talks we have up here in Liberstad. Uh, and one of them is how you actually gain some freedom in life. And one of the biggest issues uh, to not get freedom is the fear that we have. We have fear of various things. We have fear of losing our jobs or basic stable income. We have fear of disruption in our life. And we ob obviously also have fear from the state and the government. Uh, there's a lot of rules, regulations, laws that they come up with that they want you and me to follow to organize a wow. civilized modern society um, and they're sort of hurting everybody to follow these rules and the best society in terms of for a politician and for a state is where everyone else is hurting each other and uh, if someone steps out of line if a citizen can sort of um, move in and, and say that you, sh you should change your behavior or you're doing something wrong then that's a good benefit for the state because they don't need to have police officers or military to keep people in line but yeah fear is the biggest problem and um, I think that that takes time like living here in Liberstad and doing this project for we've been doing it since 2017 we bought this property up here and the project started planning two years before that and I'm just starting to feel more and more free every every year and every day I'm alive up here and um, fear is the biggest thing like you and it's not easy always it's like it it does take some uh, you need to sacrifice certain things in life to get freedom um, we get a lot of uh, security in a way from the government um, that's one of their initial main arguments for existence um, uh, you have the social security safety uh, hospital health safety and bodily safety but obviously like if, if you're if you get into trouble somewhere what's faster you're uh, ordering takeaway food or calling the cops to get the cops to come and help you and you just quickly realize that your own personal safety is, is up to you and nobody else. You can't have the, the you can't externalize your own personal safety. That's number one. There's a lot of other things we can outsource. We outsource to businesses and to other people and everything. Yeah. But yeah. The uh, the mind virus of fear is the main cause of not feeling and experiencing proper and full freedom in life um, so we when you have this fear you sort of you realize so you think that you need to ask for permission for everything and you don't really need to do that you, you're born free we live free you can go into the forest and uh, experience freedom in a sense like uh, it's not like that in every country. Like Norway, you have the freedom to roam around, even on private properties in the forest and on farmland, etc. Obviously, not in the backyard of people, but in the forest at least. And, and that's uh, that's something that, like, the, the the freedom of movement is essential for humans. Being able to move around the world, if you want to, to choose different locations. That might have different rules and regulations and you should be free to move wherever you want without paying a cost for it like here in norway if you want to if you want to move out right you still have some uh tax uh, obligations and the the usa is in much worse they're a tax slave for i think it's, it's a seven or eight years or something after you actually exit the country yeah so now that's it for this video just uh, work on your fears and 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 try to try to go over the lines of your fear 
and see that nothing bad happens. And the more you do it, the more you will develop and the more free you will feel in your mind. Okay, thank you and until next video, bye bye.